What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. And in today's video, I'll show you how to install the latest Evolution X ROM 11.1 based on the latest Android 16 on Samsung or any Android phone as it's GSI based. The phone right now you already know is my Galaxy A30, currently installed with the latest Infinity X ROM, which is also the best and comes with OTA support as well. I have already done a video on it. If you missed that, do check out the cards or the description. So in this video, I'll show you the direct update method, which won't remove the existing data files and will directly install as a system update as DSU. So as usual, I'll power off this phone. Same as usual, reboot into TWRP recovery. Now select wipe. Choose advanced wipe. Here select Dalvik cache and system. Here we only need to update the system, swipe to wipe. And also one more to mention that the existing system ARAM is already running based on the Galaxy S23 FE ROM kernel as a base for the system. The Equinox R3 kernel build works for most Android 16 ROMs. And here I have already copied the evolution ROM system image file into this pen drive, which is used to directly flash it as a system update. Simply, I'll connect to this device. Now here, select install. Choose the storage. Here I'll choose USB OTG. If you copied ROM to SD card, then you can choose it. Go to the path where you copied the ROM file. So here, select install image, so that things will display over here. And this is Evolution X GSI based system image, which works on most devices which are compatible for custom ROMs and DSU. So here I'll directly choose and install it as system image. All right, now reboot the system. It will take a couple of minutes to boot into system. So I'll fast forward. Here it will directly boot as normal with the existing user data. All right, and finally, there we go. We successfully booted. And here everything feels the same as before. Well, most of all custom ROMs are pretty much the same, but still there might be some performance tweaks. The same quick panel, toggles and everything. And first, let's go to settings. And about device section. And it's currently the latest on Android 16 based on Evolution X 11.1 version. Most of the custom ROM features feel the same as we have seen on other ROMs, like from customizations to device tweaks. And if you are using a good Snapdragon device, you might see some good level of performance for gaming or whatsoever. But this one is running on the Exynos. And for this device, we can't even expect more from it unless for basic general usage. Also, this is a very old device almost a seven-year-old Exynos device. So, and other things like camera are working as usual, but with a basic Google camera API version, and mostly all other features will be the same, like we have mostly seen on the stock Pixel ROM with some Evolution X features. Here we have Evolver. Here you can tweak your phone based on your preference, like you can customize lock screen, themes, change quick settings, status bar, power menu, and some other custom features. You can even change the boot animations like the way you want. And this one is my favorite one, the CTOS animation from Watch Dogs. You can even change fingerprint animations. But unfortunately, this thing doesn't have in display sensor. It's a joke. Same as usual, other customizations like changing icon styles and everything are pretty much the same. And in miscellaneous features, we have advanced features like we can spoof device with various settings. You can unlock higher FPS in games and a couple more. And these are some changes. So that's all for this video, guys. Like you know, mostly all of them are same like we have seen on other ROMs. Also do check out the video on one UI7 Android 16 ROM installed on this Galaxy A30. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.